young people who have a natural desire to parent their children well, but not always the resources to do it. So I'll fight for a child tax credit to save them some money, which, which will also lift American children out of poverty. I'll work to lower the cost of child care, which is out of reach for too many working families today. And for too many people in the sandwich generation who are raising young children and taking care of a parent, juggling all of it is extremely difficult. You know, I took care of my mother when she got sick, cooking clothes that, food that she had a taste for, finding clothes that would not irritate her skin, and understand as I do, that caregiving is about dignity. It is about dignity. And currently, if you need home care and you don't have some money to hire someone, you and your family need to deplete your savings to qualify for help. That's just not right. So we're going to change the approach and allow Medicare to cover the cost of home care so seniors can get the help and care they need in their own homes. Now, Donald Trump has a different approach. He tried to cut Medicare and Social Security every year he was president. Look, I believe that when people have worked hard their entire life, they deserve to retire with the benefits they have earned. And I believe in the fundamental freedom of Americans to make decisions about their own bodies and not have their government tell them what to do. restore what Donald Trump and his hand-selected Supreme Court justices took away from the women of America. That today, one in three women in America, think about it, one in three women in America lives in a state with a Trump abortion ban. Many with no exceptions even for rape and incest. The idea that a woman who survives a crime of a violation to her body should not have the authority to make a decision about what happens to her body next, that is immoral. That is immoral, and Trump's not done. He would ban abortion nationwide, restrict access to birth control and put IVF treatments at risk, and force states to monitor women's pregnancies. Just Google Project 2025 and read the plans for yourself. And look, I think we all know one does not have to abandon their faith or deeply held beliefs to simply agree the government should not be telling her what to do with her body. As President of the United States, I will proudly sign it into law. And look, on another subject, politicians have got to stop treating immigration as an issue to scare up votes in an election. And instead, treat it as the serious challenge that it is that we must finally come together to solve. I will work with Democrats and Republicans to sign into law the border security bill that Donald Trump killed. When I was Attorney General of a border state, I saw the chaos and violence caused by transnational criminal organizations that I took on. And when I am President, we will quickly remove those who arrive here unlawfully, prosecute the cartels, and give Border Patrol the support they so desperately need. 
At the same time, we must acknowledge we are a nation of immigrants. And I will work with Congress to pass immigration reform, including an earned path to citizenship for hardworking immigrants like farm workers and our dreamers. As Commander-in-Chief, I will make sure America has the strongest, most lethal fighting force in the world. Donald Trump, on the other hand,